I've been walking through my grandparents' place and I've had many questions regarding a rainforest. So what do you like about this village? Actually, village life is very peaceful. Hmm. And the environment is not disturbing. When you sleep, you sleep sound. Recently, I came across this fact that humans have already taken out 17% of the Amazon rainforest, which is a lot considering that it covers an area of 5 million square miles. And scientists predict that if this percentage hits 25, then we might end up losing the whole forest itself. I didn't quite get this logic back then. Well, this percentage is known as the tipping point. But let's try and understand it in a more intuitive manner. I think the biggest mistake we make while tackling problems like uh, deforestation is that we don't relate it with the water support system. Till the 1970s, it was believed that vegetation is simply the consequence of climate, but vegetation itself doesn't have any influence on the climate. This dogma was shattered by the Brazilian scientist Anias Salati. He used isotopic ratios of oxygen in the rainwater collected from the Atlantic to the Peruvian border. He was clearly able to demonstrate that the Amazon is able to produce approximately half of its own rainfall by recycling the water five to six times as the air masses flow from the Atlantic through the basin towards the west. So what we can conclude from Salati's work is that the deforestation will degrade the hydrological cycles of the forest, which would cause diminished rainfall and lengthen the dry season. So if we ask the question that where might be the tipping point for the deforestation generated degradation. Then scientists have estimated it to be around 40%. I know 40% seems way more than 25%, but the thing is that deforestation is not the only threat to the rainforest. In terms of global warming, a four degree Celsius rise in the average temperature would mark the tipping point. Therefore, we believe that the negative synergies between deforestation, climate change, and the widespread use of fire indicate that the Amazon system will flip into a non-forest ecosystem at about 20 to 25% deforestation. So a question might arise that how fast are we going to reach this point? Well, it depends. If we consider countries like Bhutan, then they might never see this point. But if we consider countries like Brazil, they have successfully managed to take down 1000 square miles of forest last year. They are dedicated in exploiting the forest for their agricultural economic growth. Let's talk about the significance of a rainforest. So there is this common myth that Amazon is responsible for producing 20% of the oxygen on earth. Although plants are responsible for the 50% of the global photosynthesis, the net oxygen they produce for us is significantly low because they consume 60% of the oxygen they produce for their own physiological processes and the majority of the rest is consumed by the microbes living around them. It is crucial for us because it harbors most of our fresh water sources and it acts like a carbon sink which cools down the rising temperatures of this planet. And how can we forget the ecosystem? All 1.2 million species on land depend on it. Now, it is completely up to us to do what's right.